Being a photographer helps me to be creative in lots of aspects of the way I work. So when I can go outside, you can kind of have creativity using the environment around you. So there's quite a lot of creativity involved with being a photographer. So I started taking my own photos when I was younger, probably about age of 13, 14. And then, um, and then I went from there, basically organised my own photo shoots, used friends and family to take photos of, and then went from there. There are a lot of challenges in my work. Um, the main one is actually just being original. So obviously you're competing with lots of different other photographers that all want to be in the same field as you. So what makes you stand out is your originality. So it's really difficult to try and pick or do something that no one's ever done before, to be creatively original and that sort of thing. That's probably the main challenge I have being a photographer. But the main inspiration isn't necessarily who, it's just what I see around me. So kind of the, when I do landscape, the nature around me, that inspires me. Or if I see someone that has a really cool outfit, that inspires my fashion work. Or if I see um, sort of political problems or social problems, that inspires my documentary work. So it's not necessarily particular artists, it's more what I encounter in my daily walk of life. Um, my creative muse comes about by basically just taking photos as often as I can. I think it's really important as a photographer to keep your creativity going and you only do that by photographing all the time. So when I go out for family outings, I take my camera. When I go traveling, I take my camera. When I do photo shoots, I take my camera. And I just think it's important to constantly keep working, keep building your portfolio, and then you expand your creativity from there. I have been a photographer for almost five years. Well, the Blacksmith's craft is timeless because we do exactly the same processes as, say, the Roman blacksmiths would have done. The same tools, the same manpower, the same heat. You know, it's one of the beauties of the job is that we are, in a sense, free to come in and do what we want. There's always a way to work in some bit of art, some bit of design. There is a thriving core of artistic blacksmithing, which is what I consider myself as. Um, it's industrial blacksmithing, which um, will always be there because um, you need things like crankshafts for every engine in the world. At the end of the day, you've got, you pleased somebody with what you've done for them because they've asked you to do something and they love what you've done. And that's the best bit, I think, really. Just get up every morning and always done it. Always will. Love it. So I've been doing video stuff since I was a kid. I mean, I was running around with Beacon and with doing tape recorders when I was like seven years old. So I have been doing this all of my life. I love filmmaking. Uh, and the big passion for me is working with big groups of people of all ages, of all backgrounds, uh, and everybody feeling comfortable enough to put their own ideas through it's absolutely essential to be passionate um, in any sort of walk or life about what you're doing. And uh, with videography, uh, it's very important to be enthusiastic. So it's not always a bed of roses doing uh, video production and things can go wrong sometimes. I feel I think I'm somebody who quite likes uh, troubleshooting. And although I don't want things to go wrong, when they do, I think I react quite well. And I do quite like that. It takes a real energy there to do that. And I think it's something I'm quite good at doing. So when things go wrong, I think it's just, don't be defeated, just think, okay, that's gone wrong, how can I get around it? It's so important to be passionate about what you're doing. I think as a designer, you need to have the ability to understand a brief, to listen carefully to what your clients want and First and foremost, I think it's important to be able to express your own opinion and not be afraid to give your own opinion. Um, but make sure, most definitely, that your ego doesn't get in the way because at the end of the day, it's about the clients and not about you. I would say that the biggest single challenge I face is probably having to, on a regular basis, create the dream home for someone. 
So therefore, you know, the pressure's on me to make sure that I give someone exactly what they want. Um, I definitely don't judge success in material terms. I think what it's about is being able to do something you really enjoy, that you're passionate about, and that you can do that day in, day out. That's how you judge the level of success, is really by how happy you are every day you're working. And so, you know, when you reach that stage, I think you can say that you, you're successful.